Hey guys, Stalvin back, playing some Modern Artifact Tron. I haven't played this deck in quite a while, so I thought I'd bring it back out. Opening hand is quite bad. We're going to mulligan that away. Uh, this, hand's, this hand is okay. <laughs> it's not that great, but I'm not going to go down another card. I think I don't really want to go down to five. This makes it quite a bit better. We'll put that on top. It lets us do Ancient Stirrings. Our opponent mulligan down to six, so we feel a bit better about our mulligan. And we are going to just lead off with Power Plant and pass the turn. I've been thinking about going with just three Westfall Abbeys, or maybe even two, but I tried that for a while, and when I did, I never seen Westfall Abbey. I, mean, I played probably 10, 15 games, and I never seen it. So I, I went back up to four, and now I probably see it too much, but... Um, opponent just plays Watery Grave and passes a turn. He goes in untapped, takes two damage, and passes a turn, so I feel like there's definitely something happening here. We are going to play another Power Plant and play Star. It might get countered in some way because of his one mana. Yep. Spell Pierce. That That's unfortunate, but mm, whatever. I should have just not played anything. I should have known better, but it is what it is. It's fine. At least that's another card out of his hand. Plays a Hedron Crab. I'm going to auto-yield to that. Nothing I can do about it. It doesn't hurt me too bad, actually, because I have Buried Ruin, so I can just get that stuff back. Um, I think I'm going to play... Westfall Abbey, and then Map, in case he has another Spell Pierce. He might Spell Pierce it just to make me pay for it. Cracks his Polluted Delta. He gets another Watery uh, uh, Grave. Hegion Crab doing work. Looks like Map's going to resolve. Mm-hmm. Pass the turn. I don't really want to crack my map here, but maybe I should to get a forest. Okay, he's doing the hideaway thing. Face down card. Yep. He's milling out some pretty good stuff. <laughs> okay. Manic Scribe. When there's a battlefield, each opponent puts the top three cards of his or her graveyard. At the beginning of each upkeep, opponent's upkeep, if there are four or more card types in the graveyard. Okay, so it's definitely hard mill here. Do I want to crack my map? I probably better. And it really sucks going to for a forest nonetheless but I gotta do what I gotta do here play the forest use uh, ancient stirrings well now I draw the star isn't that something well I guess we might as well play the star crack it for a green draw Hmm. Maybe I should have got a Buried Ruin? No. At the at the time, at the current state of the game, I needed that green mana. Perilous Vault isn't a very good draw, but we're going to play Ancient Stirrings here. See what we get. Um, oh boy. Well, I guess the Thopter is probably the best route. None of these are great, for sure, but I think the Thopter in combination with the Westfell Abbey is probably the best. Uh, I guess I'll play the Forest and Lightning Greaves and we'll pass the turn. I'm down to 36 cards in my deck. Opponent untaps. Four cards in hand. Hesion Crab. Okay. Oh, and a Ghost Quarter. Wow. That's nice. 
Maybe he'll blow up my Westfall Abbey. I would welcome that. Um, puts the top 10 cards. Oh my goodness. Already down to 23. Okay. Opponent passes a turn. I need something good here. <laughs> Sylvan Scrying isn't bad. He's probably going to counter this, though. Well, I got to hit my land drops. I got to start working on Tron. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's almost milled out all my Tron pieces. I'm going to get the mine while I can before he mills it out. And I guess pass the turn here. Can't believe I'm already down to 21 cards. Ensnaring Bridge. That's fine. We can get around that. He's going to Ghost Quarter the Mine. We'll use the ability. I don't find a forest. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm down to 21 cards. Um, Can I Perilous Vault? Am I going to have enough time or mana to do that? I guess we'll try it. If I can vault, if I can vault everything, and maybe add a little bit more time to my clock, I may be able to do something here. If I manage to blow up everything and get Ormondal in the field, I may be able to do do something here. Okay, what's his what's his hideaway card here? If an opponent searches or her library this turn, you may pay zero rather than pay the cost. Target opponent. Puts the top 13 cards, but I didn't this turn. Oh my gosh, I'm at 7 cards. Okay. We're gonna vault right now, right now, right now. Vault. Alright, let's. Oh, I got 5 turns. I got 5 turns to win, guys. If I can draw a land, it's, it's feasible. If I draw a land. I can maybe put this away. Oh my gosh, that's not a land. That sucks. Maybe I can dig up a land, though? No, let's go... Yeah, here we'll go here. Oh man, I should not be doing this because it's taking away my counts here. Ancient Stirrings. Oh man. Map. Well, we'll wait till we'll wait till his instep to crack it. I don't know, guys. I don't think I can do it. I need to hit him at least three times, or actually twice. What's this? Whenever an opponent becomes untapped, that permanent controls the top of their library. Oh my gosh! Wow, guys, we just got raffle stomped here. Wow. Okay, well. <laughs> um, which, does Witchbane Orb? I think Witchbane Orb works against that, doesn't it? Target opponent puts whatever, right? I think that I think that's right. We'll bring those in. Um, Platinum Angel's probably a good draw. We'll bring those in. Take out Colossus. Um, what else do we need? Bajuka Bog, no. Ghost Quarter, no. He doesn't really target my stuff. Planar Bridge, and eh, no, I don't think so. Nature's Claim, no. Let's take out the Colossus, I think. Let's run it back with this. I think the Witchbane Orb might prove useful. I'm pretty sure that works. If it doesn't, I'm going to look really dumb, but I think it says, you know, his stuff, like target player does this or that. I'm pretty sure Witchbane Orb will be good against that. And it's colorless, so I'll be able to dig it up with like ancient stories and stuff. And if I can land Platinum Angel, and it doesn't matter how many cards are in my deck, if he doesn't have an answer for it, then it is what it is. But here we go, game two. This hand is much better than my last hand. We'll keep it.
We're going to start off with mine into sphere, I suppose. Pass the turn. See what our opponent's got for us. Watery Grave untapped. Hesion Crab. See, target player puts the top three. So if I get Witchbane Orb, it's gonna I think it's gonna do a great deal because I'm not gonna be targetable. Another tower. We'll crack this for green. And we don't draw nothing, but we'll do this, this. Pass the turn. Maybe we can get a uh, Sylvan Scrying. Witchbane Orb is the is the nut draw here. Definitely need the Witchbane Orb. And the good news is, if he mills Witchbane Orb, then I can just get it back with Buried Ruin. Mm -hmm. Sylvan Scrying would have been a great draw for me. Scribe, yep. Usual stuff here. Witchbane Orb. There it is. I just need a buried ruin. I wonder if he's paying attention to my graveyard and he sees the witch bane orb. Opponent passes a turn. What do we get? Buried ruin. Okay, we can get witch bane orb. That's pretty good. But I want to get it back and be able to play it the next turn. So I need. I need uh, like I need more mana, so we'll wait for that. Should I crack my only green source for a draw? I think it's worth it. Map, that's a good draw. Play the map. Play the tower. I'm going to be mana efficient here and crack this tower now, or the the map now. Get a power plant and pass the turn. So next turn I can play the power plant. Actually, next turn I can play the Buried Ruin, get Witchbane Orb back, and then uh, play the play uh, Power Plant, and then use Witchbane Orb. And I think Witchbane Orb is going to be a super key card here. Okay, target player, target player this, target player that. We're going to have to put that to an end here soon. He milled out both my Witchbane Orbs. It's, I'm very happy I have Buried Ruin to get it back. Hopefully he doesn't exile my graveyard with Bajuka Bog or something. Draw a card. If a graveyard has 20 or more, draw three cards. Ay, ay, ay. yi. Up to six cards in hand. Oh no, what's he hitting? Power plant? Oh my gosh. That sucks. I hate surgical extraction and that it can hit hit non-land permanents. Other than basic land. See, it should say it should say non-land. Oh gosh. That really sucks. And look, choose target player in a choose target card in a graveyard. My gosh. That sucks. Alright, we're going to play Buried Ruin. And I'm going to crack Buried Ruin on my next turn to get Witchbane Orb and cast it for 4 mana. So let's go ahead and cast a star now. And then I'm going to hold on to what I have here. I'm going to get... Um, which bane or back at the end of turn? Play it next turn. Hopefully it'll land. Hopefully he doesn't have a counter. Up. Hopefully he he doesn't realize. Hopefully he doesn't see it. He may though. He has six cards in hand. Hide away. Okay, he's hiding a card away. Yep. Guys, I'm really confident if we land which bane or we're gonna be okay. I really think so, but. Please tap your blue mana. Okay, let's get our Witch Bane Orb. Oh, 
Hopefully he doesn't have some kind of shenanigan here. Okay, we got the orb. Now can we play it is the question. Ah. Oh. This is it. If he has a counter spell, then, then there you go. But I'm going to try it. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Spell snare. Okay. So he draws a bunch of cards. Okay. Destroy all curses on me. That's fine. His, his little orb thing is still going to work, but I think it's going to slow him down a little bit. Just in the nick of time. Oh, it hits him too. Okay. Wow. Oh boy. He has four card types too, so he's gonna the manic scribe is gonna hurt him too. Watery grave comes in. Oh, and he has to target himself. Oh my god. That's funny. <laughs> That is really funny. Another orb. Another orb? Oh my gosh. I don't know, guys. I don't think... <laughs> we... Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! That's so crazy! Oh, wow. Jeez. Hmm. Well. I think that's it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I play Angel... Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's correct this for a green. Let's see if we can get an, let's see if we can get our angel online. Then we might be in business here. But I have to dig up for a land. Hmm. Man, this sucks. Yep. That sucks. Darn it. Look at that. That's insane. And I wish we could have, um, played the angel, but there it is. <laughs> well, that was interesting. <laughs> yep. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> have a great night.